Los Angeles is a culinary hub. It's a destination for some of the country's most renowned chefs. No other county in California sees more food move in and out than Los Angeles County. And yet, in this same county, 1.5 million people are struggling to figure out where their next meal will come from. When we look at how to rebalance that dynamic, we often zero in on getting food to people by any means necessary. But at the Los Angeles Food Policy Council, Christine Tran and her team are working to show just how crucial it is to consider the how, the where, and the who behind creating food access with their Farm Fresh LA program. Could you describe the landscape of food access in LA and what that actually means within this community in particular? For a lot of folks in lower income communities, you have to choose between rent, between childcare, between gas money. When you have folks with privilege, folks who may not have a food budget in their everyday life, if they're making decisions based on food access for lower income community, how are you going to connect those dots? Farm Fresh LA is this concept of connecting the dots of our supply chain so that we can support local growers and local communities to eat healthier. So you have aggregators who source from growers and these growers are growing California grown produce and then you're able to leverage that California food assistance money to subsidize the cost of that produce for the corner stores. At LAFPC, we're trying to create more of an understanding that our food is an ecosystem. We have to collaborate in order to make things happen. We're a nonprofit organization based here in Los Angeles, and we focus a lot on issues around health equity, specifically for Asian Pacific Islander communities in LA. What made APIFM? the right organization to be an aggregator. We started our Food Roots program back in 2012 initially. We aggregate produce from local growers and farmers and then redistribute the produce out to community institutions all over LA. We've been working with a lot of local Asian American farmers who grow culturally relevant produce. We actually were looking for another farmer to work with. So we reached out to Thai CDC who runs the East Hollywood Farmer's Market. So can you tell me why partnerships with organizations like APIFM are so important to Thai CDC? I think they're important to us because it really gives us uh, more accessibility to other communities that we might not be as involved in. You wouldn't go into a different part of LA like East LA, for example, yeah. and pretend to know that community as well as another organization exactly. might. What kind of decisions go into what farmer that you partner them with? Is it like cultural relevance? Is it, you know, what, what are the factors? Cultural relevance is one, and then just making sure that the producer has the capacity to, to take it on. What are the opportunities that California Grown creates? Why, why do you get the certification? One thing that uh, I think is good for the community that uh, our prices are lower than the stores. The big stores, they have a person that go to the farms, they get it from the farm and they resell it to the big stores. Ah. And we come directly to the community. So because you're selling directly to consumer, you can cut down the price versus like a grocery store going through a middleman or a trader. Like, Exactly. California grown certification makes it more affordable for the customer. Our produce aggregators are our food system brokers. They're able to connect the dots between what's happening on farms and what's happening in our corner stores. I'm now friends with all of the uh, corner store operators, and so that partnership is wonderful. That sense of connectedness in LA is really important. What have you noticed, like being in the middle of this kind of local supply chain? Is it different because you're working with more community-based actors versus, you know, maybe how the typical system might work? Well, I think you have to be more flexible because you're dealing with more variable um, sourcing products, delivery times. Yeah. But also, you get really surprised. We had 
Some of the most amazing produce this year. Most people would not be able to access local produce like this because usually local produce is being siphoned off to high-end restaurants and, and farmers markets around LA. How would you respond to someone who crossed their arms and said, it's easier to just work with the bigger distributors. My question would be like, easy for who? As we're going through these complex supply chain issues, this concept of a global supply chain may not be good for the local economy. But generally, I do most of the deliveries. Um, I like the interaction with the uh, store owners. When I drop off the bags, especially at like some of the, like at Sam's Corner Market, they give me crap when, uh, uh, when there's too many vegetables in a bag. One of the guys goes, what do you think I am, a rabbit? It changes every week, but they really like it when it's more fruit than veggies. I never thought about it, but like, of course people like fruit better because, yeah, if I live on Skid Row, maybe I don't have a stove yeah. to cook vegetables, to cook zucchini and... That's what Danny asked for specifically. He said his customers ask for things that they can eat without cooking because many of them don't have the ability to cook. So, but we're dealing with Skid Row population is different than Principio Market is different from Sam's Market. So each of them have requested different things. When we think about who are the leaders within this good food movement, those leaders all should be community members. A lot of corner store owners, they know what it's like when they see customers having to decide something at a cash register. The fact that corner store owners like Danny, Carlos, and Andy wanting to have fresh produce for their community is a testament to their interest and their passion and their devotion really to making sure that they're doing the very best for their communities. We provide food in an area where there's such lack of food outlets and healthy food outlets. We have an understanding, I think, of the deeper root issues. I look at like the murals and kind of what you have hanging around the store, the reminders of your ethos. It's clear that you want to create a space for the community that is safe, you know? How do we collectively determine how we want our neighborhood to be like and what we want to see here? Corner stores like Skid Row People's Market, they know that they're serving a population that is predominantly unhoused. So the things that they provide in their stores is to provide folks with access, not only to food, but things that will make their livelihoods a little bit easier on an everyday basis. Given the, the system that exists, healthier foods are more expensive, but it's food that we all need. A group of uh, high school students came in one day and asked me if they could evaluate my store. I said, sure, why not? They started kind of opening up my eyes, and that's what uh, got me connected with the Healthy Neighborhood Market Network. And from there, we started working together, bringing better produce into the community. Quite frankly, I think Farm Fresh LA kind of set the standard. It allows all of the farmers and the corner stores, you know, to kind of unite. I just took the risk. Yeah, I, I like taking risks, like, <laughs> but especially if it's offering anything healthy to, to people. Yeah. It's worth it to create these yeah. healthy options, or at least yeah. experiment with them and yeah. see what works. It was a good program. You spend one dollar on your uh, EBT food stamps, and then you get a free bag of produce that's like yeah. locally sourced, organic. People here, they're price sensitive, especially if they're on uh, assistant living EBT stuff that it helps. And I can imagine especially during the pandemic, people were struggling even more. During the pandemic, we had uh, supply chain issues. Actually, LAFPC were like the only ones to, to come through and uh, were able to give me the produce on time, every time. It was actually relieving because, yeah, it was a struggle to, to keep my shelves stocked with anything, actually. And the fact that the, that supply chain was so local, it seems like made a huge difference. Yeah. The farmers are down here. The aggregators are 15, 20 minutes away oh, at max. Right. Yeah. Uh, everything is here. The supply chain, again, does not have to be complex or difficult. Through Farm Fresh LA, we were able to develop really strong case studies. What are some of the essential ingredients that made this work? We 
you see a lot of familiar faces every single day. Most of the people that are out here in this community, they've, they've been here since my grandfather started the business. Now it's their grandkids, you know, who are shopping here. Here in the community, I feel like the person I am because of so much of the, the wisdom and advice and love I've received. I mean, everyone benefits off of each other. It's kind of like a symbiotic relationship. I want to offer them things like Farm Fresh LA. Yeah, the community has given me so much. Food inaccessibility should not be a thing. I just want everybody to be able to, to have access to the right types of foods. When you're actively having a conversation about the food that you're eating, you're building a culture. 